unless you, unless it's an emergency, call me. Or call me this day, or call one of my leaders. You want to know why? Because if every day you to call me with naggy, naggy, naggy about um, popular science, it's going to frustrate me. Don't get on my nerve. The people, the confusion of the people. Listen, if you are a pastor that loves to listen to gossip and sesse and confusion and this and that and, and, and that one says she said you say him said them say we say we are this. We care. Problem. It has to, it will. You, you want to know what one of the things, and, and even even my very pastors, if it's not something you need or something I'm gone, I, I don't even respond to them. You want to know why? I want when I stand up here to say, Thus said the Lord. None of you say, Yeah, what we have. I need to tell Pastor that. And I know that some of us did it in here. It crossed my mind. In, in the know. I look around and everybody and you say, me not perfectly know that. Me did tell you. And I'm telling you. And so what, what happens now, I have to make sure that my credibility is not shot. That I hear totally and clearly from God. If a pastor, and I watch it mash up and destroy churches and rip churches apart, will take one side with the people and leave another P and P and Labour right. <laughs> Democratic and Republican. Problem. It's gonna have it's gonna have problem in the church. Somebody say yes Lord. Yes Lord. When the priest come out of the temple or out of his secret chamber, he must come fresh with the glow of God on his face, not immersed in gossip and lying and slander and backbiting, but he comes out fresh to shit. Thus saith the Lord. And if two nations is in one church, when he's done with it, he's put it together as one and build the house of God. Amen, somebody? Amen. When you are leaving, you got to make sure that this here is clean and this is clean and this clean and this clean. What about clean? The entire head, eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and lips. Clean! So that when you say, thus said the Lord, it carries velocity. It carries it. Strength can be trusted or come out of your mouth. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Somebody say, leadership. 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 Did that, that's what we're talking about. I, you, you know, I've listened to so many churches and people who say, I've left my church because my pastor is, is, is biased and one-sided and, 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 and listen to that one and mistreat me because of that one or, or don't allow me to do this because of that one. And, and, and it's crazy. Let me tell you something. I, in this house, and I'm praying, I said, God, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better. Somebody say he's getting better. He's getting, getting better. better. I, I'm, I'm getting better at shutting down people. I'm getting better at telling people to their faces what they need to hear. I'm getting, I'm getting much, but God has given me much more strength and boldness. Yeah. Oh, yes. Amen. Thank you, baby. One more I get. <laughs> I'm getting better. Because sometimes you're so, you don't want to hurt people's feelings. You don't want people to feel um, neglected or, or dejected or feeling like, you know, you don't love them. But, but, but sometimes you, you got to look beyond. It's not that I don't love you. It's that I want you to go to heaven. And I'd rather you go to heaven and maybe be friends and go to hell. Amen, somebody? Amen. Maybe be friends and I can't tell you the truth. Right. Maybe be friends and I can't tell you what's right. And you spit hell wide open. Your blood is going to be on my shoulder. Come on, somebody. Amen. I want you to be upset with me for a couple of months. And if a rapture comes, you're going to hell. But I'm going to heaven. God, I told you what God said. And when I die, you must put on my tombstone. He told me the truth. Amen. That's all I want of it. He told us the truth. He told us the truth. That's what he, he, he said it in his preaching. And he lived it, and he taught it, and he lived it. I'm, I'm getting there. Not there all, all together yet. Still need to be there for some people, but God is working on me. Because sometimes some people rub you, and you have to say, God, help me. And not until you get into leadership, and you realize the, 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 how people can be challenging. 
I, I always think I'm pacifist. So when the pacifist first came into leadership, and you would hear me talk to the people, say, "What? Well, right? Me? Get out of here!" No. No. <laughs> Why must I understand still enough? <laughs> it, it, it shifts because when you're actually in the driver's seat and you see, you say, good Jesus, have mercy. As small as this church is, it's a rough church to lead. Trust me. Rough. Have some rough people in your life. Amen. And they smile and they look nice, but they're rough, man. <laughs> if you're not careful, you, you, you start to pick up leaves where there's no trees. <laughs> Talking crazy. <laughs> read, read, read. Your basis for setting limits. Now we know that this land is in fact populated with giants. But God had said he would give them the land in spite of the giants. So the leadership of the children of Israel did not decide on the basis of God's word. Instead, they decided on the basis of what they saw. Mm -hmm. The spies saw giants. Mm -hmm. And the result of their refusal to obey God's word was to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. The people past the fits believed in their own fate. Not faith. Fate. That caused them 40 years. What should have been an 11 day journey took them 40 years because the leader retreated and gave the people what they said. An 11 day journey took 40 years. Ain't not so funny? The leader was in the 40 years with them. Read scripture. Moses was going on the wilderness with them until the word of the Lord came to Moses and said, how long must we come past about this mountain? How much time do we walk around this thing? Leadership had the people in the ship of walking around in confusion. You know, we can be at this church for the next three years and don't grow and don't do anything. And the, it, it, that's why the Holy Ghost says, son, now listen, shut down the speaking in tongues, shut down, run up and down, and begin to move this thing. Stop complaining to me about the people and fix the issue of the people. They need proper leadership. They need to stop murmur. They need to take the initiative.